There are usually three types of teams that are typically involved in a DX project. The DX administrators who set up the environment and manage access on all the resources. The business users who can even manage the content and pages on the site. And the developers who design the site and create reusable templates for the business users. Let us first start with the DX administrators. The DX administrator has installed this DX server. He goes to the practitioner studio and manages the access on all these individual resources like the web content manager, digital asset management, etc. and even configures the setting and security of the DX server. Now that the DX environment has been installed and set up by the administrators, DX business users can come in to create content and pages. Now say as a business user, I want to promote digital experience. For that, I would need to manage the digital assets related to DX and I would need to create a content to promote digital experience using those assets from the digital asset manager. So let me go from the practitioner studio to the digital asset manager. I will upload certain assets. I am selecting different types of assets like Word documents, JPG, PNG, PDF and MP4 files. I will name my collection and click on create collection. There you have it. My digital asset manager collection is ready. I now go to the web content manager and land on the content composer. From here, I want to create an authoring template. I'll just name my template AT promotion. I want to place my content in the DX library. And now I will add certain elements. I click on plus icon to add an image and name my image. Next, I can drag and drop a rich text element on the page and name it body. Now I want to set certain default conditions. So I will set the body rich text element as a mandatory field. Finally, I'll also add a workflow to my authoring template and save. My AT promotion authoring template is now successfully created. Now I'll use it to create a content. I name my content DX promotion and select the AT promotion authoring template. I will also mention the location of my content as the HCL DX promotion site area. Now I can upload my image from the digital asset management. I select HCL DAM and select the image from my digital experience promotion collection. I already have a banner image ready. I insert it. But now I cannot save my content unless I enter the body field. Remember because we made it a mandatory field. Now as a content author, I have created my content in a Word document. It has certain formatting along with an image and certain bullet points. I select everything and copy and paste my content here. And I see that my content has been copied without losing any formatting. I can now save my content. Now that the DX administrators have set up the environment for us and the business users have created the content and uploaded the assets in the digital asset manager, we now come to DX developers. Now let us see the developers activities in action. Let us start by building a presentation template for the DX promotion content that was created by the content authors. This time I go directly to the web content section. This time I go to the authoring environment into the DX library where the business user had created the DX promotion content. I want to create a new presentation template. I name my template and insert some element tags from the authoring template AT promotion. And there you have it. My presentation template is ready for the DX promotion content. It is displaying the title field, the banner field and the body of the DX promotion content. For now, I don't want the title and the image to be rendered. I will just keep it to the rich text element. I will save my presentation template and preview it on the DX server. Here I need to select which content I want to preview. So I select the DX promotion content. And there it is. 
So that's how different teams come together and build a DX project.